the rumors are true. 33,000 Boeing employees went on strike, and yesterday they all lost their health coverage, and Boeing will not give it back until they go back to work. But there is a lot to this story, including a $59 billion ripoff that's gonna make you wanna throw your phone. So stick around because in two minutes, you are gonna be the number one expert about this strike. This started on September 13th when the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers went on strike. The union wanted a 40% raise over the life of the new contract. Boeing only offered 30%. But that wasn't the real deal breaker. It was about retirement. Boeing hasn't negotiated a full contract with this union since 2008, instead settling for two extensions in 2011 and 2014. That year, Boeing threatened to move production of some of its planes, thus cutting some jobs, unless the union agreed to give up their pensions. In a very close vote that a lot of Boeing employees are still really upset about, the union gave in. What workers lost that day was something called a defined benefit plan, which guarantees set payments for life once they are earned, and they're insured. So if anything ever happened to Boeing, you would still have secure retirement. But the 2014 concession replaced that plan with a 401k, which unlike the defined benefit plan, puts all the risk on the employee. If there's a downturn in the market, a recession, or God forbid you chose the wrong investments, you can be left with nothing. That's why the union rejected Boeing's best and final offer to match up to 100% of the first 8% of an employee's contributions. Because it's not about the contributions, it's about the security. So the union walked and that's when things got nasty. On Monday, September 30th, these employees' company health plan expired. Boeing saw an opportunity for leverage and said that any employee who returns to work on their terms by October 1st would have their health plan instated. So as of today, October 2nd, tens of thousands of Boeing employees no longer have their health coverage. That puts people at severe risk, especially if they have an ongoing condition or an emergency during this time. That said, there are options for these workers, but I gotta be honest, they aren't great. First, the workers get something called strike pay in the form of prepaid debit cards that are paid for by the union and funded by the dues these members have paid. Not a lot of money, but it's better than nothing. Second, and this is the really scummy part, the workers can keep their existing health coverage with COBRA. Now, that is fine, but with a huge catch. Under COBRA, they can be on the hook for 100% of the premium costs, which they weren't paying before, plus an additional 2% administrative fee. So if you can afford that, you can keep your health care, but for a lot of these workers, that's not going to be an option. So what's going to happen next? This is the part where you're going to want to throw your phone. Since eliminating workers' pensions in 2014, Boeing has spent $39 billion pumping its own stock price with share buybacks. They then spent an additional $20 billion on dividends for their shareholders. I think Boeing's priorities are clear. They don't care about passenger safety. They don't care about their workers. Unless something happens that affects their precious shareholder value, I don't think pensions are coming back. But I'm just one guy. I wanna know what you think. Is the union asking for too much? Is Boeing playing too dirty? What do you think is gonna happen here? And if you've made it this far, obviously you're interested in labor law, so why not follow for more?